Good morning, folks. How you guys doing today? It's a beautiful Sunday morning here in sunny California. Folks, yesterday I was at Jim Ward in Pittsburgh, where we had some more epic sparring. And it was, when I say it was epic, I mean it was epic sparring. It was a lot of fun, and, you know, we saw a lot of people that were there. Um, that was sparring. Man, it was exciting to see young talent, up and coming talent in the boxing. Okay, but folks, I also want to apologize for all you guys that was watch trying to watch it on the live feed that we were having on the channel. I apologize because we was having some internet issues with that particular feed. But what we did was we have several cameras, so we have the full entire sparring session. And I'm going to upload the full entire sparring session of yesterday. And you can only watch this on BPTV. So we want you guys to go over to BPTV and watch the entire session. It is epic. Some great, great sparring going on. Great matchups yesterday. Yesterday, we had several prospects from boxing that was in there. We had Fernando Ibarra that was, that's from the JL Topito Boxing Club, Fairfield County. This young man was throwing hands yesterday. Now, his opponent also was throwing hands. I mean, he was really, really good too. So these are great, great matchups, which, you know, when you have great matchups, you have great sparring. We also had Raleo that was there. He's from the Lions Den. He's also was throwing hands with Fernando Ibarra and the other gentlemen. I can't remember the names because it was so much that was happening there yesterday. Okay. We had um we had Joe Sean James that was there. Joe Sean James is a professional fighter. He's undefeated. He's just coming off a big, big win in Ontario, California. It's exciting. We have world champions in our miss. James Page, the world champion, was there. He is there. Wow, folks. Is all kinds of talent coming through the lion's den. Okay, these young fighters are putting hands on each other. They are doing this, and it is epic. We also had the small, the small kids, the juniors. Guys, you guys got to really see the juniors when these guys are sparring. It is something to see. Okay, we also had another young man, actually two young men, Bobby and Dante from the lion's den. These two young men so was was working, putting in the work. Wow, guys. If you guys are not there, you guys should be there. And my question to you is, why aren't you there to see this epic sparring at the Lion's Den? Okay, folks? All right? We at BPTV is bringing boxing back to television. Once again, making fighters a household name. OK, so we want you guys to go over to or come over to BPTV and watch the entire event on the channel itself. Now, yes, I'll put some of the stuff up on social media for you guys to go and you guys can check it out. But we want you guys to see the sparring. OK, well, you're going to see it in different camera views because I'm going to have to upload um uh, different views. So the first one um, that I already have uploaded is is a three and a half hours of sparring. Then there's some that I'm going to do in 30 minute intervals that you guys can go and watch a, a specific fighter. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. So, folks, again, I'm going to say this: you're going to have less of me. And more of the action because BPTV is bringing you the best content on the internet today. BPTV is bringing you the best content on the internet today. Hardcore boxing fans want to see action. Okay. 
And folks, I found out something, you know, it might be some old news, but the fight is not happening between Earl Spence, the number one, the man in the welterweight division, Earl, the truth, Spence, and the number two guy, Terrence Crawford. It's not happening. Okay. At least story says, and what people are saying is the fight can happen next year. Well, you know what? I've said it before, and I'm going to say it again. This fight is not going to happen. There is no fight, regardless of what we hear from what people are saying. There is no fight. All that is going on is a bunch of talking from, from what people are saying. That's it, okay? Nothing official has been announced, okay? We hear one guy say this. We hear this guy say that. Nothing official has been announced because if it was official, it would blow up huge. I mean, huge. So, folks, all I have to say is this. Who are you listening to? Right. Think about that. That's all I have to say to you. Think about who you're listening to. So I'm going to get back to Jim Wars because this is what this is about. Jim Wars is new up and coming. OK, boxing fans. You want excitement. If you want epic boxing, you need to watch Jim Ward. Okay? From the Lions, Pittsburgh, California. Okay? Big shout out to, excuse me, folks. Big shout out to Cordell, the Lions Den, all the gyms that were there to participating. Big shout out to Joe Sean James. Big shout out to Fernando Ibarra. Big shout out to Raleo. Big shout out to Bobby Dante. All these fighters are, were there. Okay, and there's so many fighters. I can't even name them all. I can't even name them all, folks. I mean, there's just a thousands and thousands of fighters. Big shout out to the ladies that were there that was sparring in the ring yesterday. You guys will see the ladies. You will see the little kids. You will see sparring from everybody. Okay, because BPTV, we're not favoring any one fighter. All the fighters deserve the credit that they supposed to get. And we will recognize that, okay? It's about our communities. It is about us sticking together as a boxing community, okay? And I know that there's a lot of politics in boxing, but we need to get away from the politics. We need to let the two fighters decide who is the best, okay? That's what we need to do. Let the two fighters Find out who is the best. Let them throw hands and go from there. Okay? So, bottom line to it is every fighter deserves this credit. Whether you think he does or not, they all deserve a credit. Why? Because this journey that they're on is a hard, hard journey. And I fully, fully understand it because I'm a former fighter. And trust me, this takes a lot of hard work and dedication. And the question is fighters are in there as the stay in that ring and continue to go keep going and keep going and to persevere that is the question well folks less of me more of the action check out this video I'm telling you these young men in this video these are some of the juniors okay i figure they were maybe around uh 14 15 you know in that age range but watch the work that these guys are putting in OK, I've seen other fighters that's not putting in this type of work, not just one fighter. Both of the fighters are putting in excellent, excellent work. OK, all right, guys, check out the video. If you guys like this sort of comment, write. I mean, excuse me, if you guys like this sort of content, write something in the comment section. OK, hit the bell icon, subscribe to the channel. OK. You know, do everything that you need to do so you continue getting this sort of content, okay? We're going to keep bringing you great content like this, as well as I'm also a coach. I'm going to be also putting up some different series, okay? And, and you know, in the past, um, I was doing a, a series on, on defense, and I had gotten away from it because things got so busy. But now I'm going to come back to that so you guys get to see what defense is all about. All right, guys. That's all I got for you at this particular moment. Watch the video from the lion's den 
in Pittsburgh, California. And remember something, be punching, don't get punch drunk. Peace. I'm out. Catch you in a minute. Thank <laughs> you. 
Go down low. Yeah, you got to yeah. get him in the One, two up top, one, two down low. <laughs> Your boy too quick.